Have you ever judged someone before you gave them the chance? In Skunk and Badger by Amy Timberlake, Skunk is living in his Aunt Lula's house. He spends his days doing very important rock work and eating cold cereal for every meal. And if anyone were to ask him, he would say he's very busy and happy on his own and especially happy without a roommate. One day, he's interrupted by a door-to-door -door sales skunk while he is doing his very important rock work, and he just can't seem to take the hint to leave. It turns out Skunk is not selling anything, but was told by Aunt Lula that he could stay in the house with Badger. Badger is pretty sure this is not going to work out. Skunk insists on dismantling Badger's cardboard box room instead of sleeping in the perfectly spacious closet. He makes delicious but very messy meals instead of cold cereal and expects Badger to clean up. Worst of all, Skunk blows his chicken whistle that summons hundreds of chickens into Badger's house, including his very important rock room. This is more than Badger can take, and he blows up at Skunk, calls him some not-so-kind things, and Skunk swiftly takes his suitcase and chickens and leaves. Now Badger can get back to his very important rock work, except he can't concentrate. He misses Skunk's stories, and cold cereal doesn't feel like a proper meal anymore. Maybe it wasn't so bad having a roommate after all. Badger needs to find Skunk, but Skunk has disappeared. To find out what happens between Badger and Skunk, you should read Skunk and Badger by Amy Timberlake. Check out this book and many others at Harford County Public Libraries. Visit your favorite branch, give us a call, or go online at hcplonline.org.